Hey, welcome. It's Brian, and this is Guitar Solo Reactions, and today we're back with Radiohead, and we are doing the song Staircase. This is, again, from Live from the Basement. And uh, thanks to everyone who's commented, subscribed, liked, and mentioned their favorite Radiohead songs. As I kind of slowly navigate my way through their catalog, uh, obviously mostly doing live videos. I think I've got four or five under my belt now. Um, some really great surprises in there for sure. And uh, I thought today we would do Staircase and kind of go from there. Uh, also, I'd like to mention that 90% of the people that watch this channel uh, do not subscribe or have not subscribed. So if that's something you'd like to do, that'd be great. So here we go. Radiohead Staircase. That's what we're doing in the house. Yeah. So I need to move, move, move. Thank you. Uh, mute the move. Okay. <laughs> As I've done these videos, the first two, Mixomitosis, and um, I'm kind of blanking on the second one I did, but those first two were really uh, mind-blowing for me in the sense of, like, here's a band that compositionally does things, and I use the word texture a lot, they use synths, like synth pads or guitar, and a lot of the times the guitar is kind of a repetitive figure. And then you have this great kind of undercurrent of like uh, percussion, drums, and, and on this video it looks like they've added a percussionist. Uh, on the previous ones I've done, there was no percussionist. It was just the core band. Uh, and the drummer uh, is uh, really incredible. I mean, the whole band is, but as far as drumming goes, he is technically great. And and then you have a piece like this that kind of has that Moog kind of uh, texture and then some kind of repetitive kind of clean guitar note stuff with an ostinato bass thing going on. It's really cool. And even the videos I've done so far, I've done, like I said, four or five. When I went back to watch the second ones, um, I'll have to, again, I'm blanking on what the name of the songs were. I enjoyed them a lot uh, after listening to them a couple more times, where that initial for the reaction was kind of like, you know, yeah, that's good, or whatever. It was kind of understated. And then I heard the song again in the context of, his list, of just a listener, and I really, really dug it. So um, they're growing on me, I guess. Send in a child Oh, 
there we have it. Radiohead doing this incredible piece of music called Staircase. A kind of a moog kind of undercurrent kind of setting kind of the changes and the chords doing some kind of more kind of atmospheric stuff and then some great kind of cool arpeggiated stuff that kind of give it some movement. Um, and then the bass player, um, who's that? Uh, it's one of the Greenwoods. Uh, I forget his first name. Is it Donnie? Um, is got a cool ostinato bass line that kind of moves around a little bit and gives it some kind of um, context. And what I'm kind of uh, pulling out of a lot of these videos is, and I think this is when you have some of the best pop music or really any kind of music, whether it's rock or jazz or whatever, it's the parts are simple but effective. And then all of those things, there's not like a ton going on outside of the drumming. The drumming is the most kinetic part in this band so far, as far as what I've seen. And then you add a percussion to it, so it's got that kind of cool, kind of undulating undercurrent of rhythm kind of going. And then everybody's parts are kind of simple to some degree, but then they add them all together and with the vocal, and you get this incredible piece of music. So... I'm not going to say this is my favorite so far because I've done so few, but it's definitely up there. Uh, I would say it's my second. Um, it is really, uh, I was blown away by the first two, one of them being Mixomatosis, how interesting it was from a time signature. <clears throat> I was blown away by Mixomatosis simply because of this kind of cool, uh, interesting time signature thing in a polymeter kind of thing going on. Uh, which they do, and it it's really subtle how they do it. And um, I believe the drummer's name is James. I'll look it up later. But he is one of my favorite uh, players in the band. And um, no, no, there's no weak links, but it's it's interesting that I never thought I would watch this band and be talking about the drummer so much. How subtle he is. There's a lot of cool, great techniques that are not in the rock world. Uh, there's a lot he has a lot more subtlety a lot more dynamic range because uh, he's allowed to with this kind of music so anyway um, I'm just kind of talking out my ass but I dig the band and I appreciate you watching uh, please like subscribe and comment like I said at the beginning I love hearing what your favorite songs are um, I try to get to them and sometimes one just catches my eye and I do it so anyway that's the way it goes I am Brian this is a guitar solo reactions I'll see you soon